Hello and welcome to John Wick. Hi everyone. Catch up. John Wick episode John Wick. of EFAP where we covered it for once, finally letting everyone know what we John think. John Wick Quattro. The one where we were like, hey, action movies aren't allowed to be fun. That's what we said. That was our thing. That's right. That's what uh, we said. And we're sticking to and it. We got away I with it nothing. too. We're still alive and kicking, still sharing opinions. Can you believe it? Somehow. So, what we're going to do now is check out what uh, peeps had to say, messages that were sent, catching up on them, getting that done and done so. So, and then we can finally forget about John Wick 4 forever until oh. 5 comes out. John Wick uh, is back. Yeah, true. John Wick Resurrection, the final chapter, part one. Point one. Because it'll be the director's cut and it'll be really it'll be loaded. Like updates. Yes. updates for a computer game. Update 1.1 1. 1 is out. Well, enough, the first message says going for D&D. &D, let's see how it goes. Just like, all the D&D right. &D movie? <laughs> yeah, they're going to go yeah, see D&D, I've heard I it's... I heard it's meh. I, I'm interested to see it at this point because of the fact that it's getting so many different kinds of reviews from so many different people. Um, yeah, but I'd like, like to wait until it's out out and do a double bill with the Jeremy Irons one. If that's all right. If that sounds... Was reasonable. I would love to do that. Absolutely. I think it needs to be compared. They're two different eras and, you know, different ideas, different levels of quality. It'd be neat. Um, hey, Mola, make sure not to bring up Resident Evil 4 Remake. Wouldn't want to upset Metal because, you know, eight hours. Oh, that was, this was right after <laughs> he uh, trying to do that village part that's on Professional. That's in the wound. Cruel. Do that. Cruel is what that is. Cruel. Yeah, that's not nice. Um, though he did do it eventually. He just uh, he just did it offline, you know? Nobody saw. Well, that's... Uh, uh, no, but but we were there. We, we were there. Audio, we, we were, were audio there. witnesses to him saying audio yes. Witnesses. Like, he succeeded. That's yeah. the... Uh, we're, we're in the, the secret... E the, the deep EFAP lore only happens so on hopefully he wasn't calls. trying to uh Hopefully he wasn't trying to bamboozle us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that doesn't seem like him. No. He's a good boy. Yeah. Hello, massives. Grinch is good rat. Hi, Rags. Hello. Uh, Hello. Which one? Yeah, which Maybe one? Maybe all of them. And, uh, you, the book or the films? Maybe all of it. Maybe the Grinch is just a good Maybe, rat. maybe Anything Grinch-related. The OG Shrek. Do, uh, do, we, do we all like Dr. Seuss here? Sure. Oh, I never met him. Uh, I mean, Dr. Seuss, like, books. Oh, yeah. See, Mola, yours was interesting because it, it was more like a... Um, Sort of like a, like a, oh, yeah. that was kind of how that came across to me. Can you think of any other interpretation? Well, why don't you help me out? What what did you? You don't really interpret that as much as just describe your noise. Yeah, he's interpreted the noise to mean that I'm like less than favorable. I'm like yeah. lukewarm, lukewarm. Yeah. Meanwhile, the reality is I'm just not that familiar with Doctor Seuss stuff, but of what I am familiar with, I approve of. Mahler was never a child, confirmed. Wait, how did you know that? Because. Because every Anyone child, child is familiar with Dr. Loves Seuss. Dr. Seuss, yeah. They know him intimately, deeply. I know Zeus. Is he the same? Uh, no. He's not a doctor. You're, no, you're, you're mis no. The, so Zeus and the Moose? Zeus the, of the Olympians, the, the Greek god. And then there's Zeus is in Dr. Seuss, the, the okay. children's pitch. Okay. That's where I was getting mixed up. Now it all makes sense. Dr. Zeus. Uh, Dr. Literally, Zeus, yeah. <laughs> literally just finished watching the movie at the cinema. Watched you all since before EFAP. Have any of you played the game Inscription? No. I have not, but I've seen it, and it looks very cool. I haven't heard of it. I think it's on my wish list on... some. I think it's on my wish list on Steam, but that game looks really cool. Um, I've obviously not played it. Well, it's not. I guess it's not obvious, but I haven't played it. And I think you guys should at least take a look at it. It looks it's like a very neat kind of like like a culty tribal card game with like animals and stuff. Hmm. Um it's very it looks like nothing else I've seen before. Check it out. Uh do y'all wipe sitting down or standing up? I have others wipe for me. I live in decadence. No. Um, um down. That's a very private question <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to indulge many elements of my private life but um that's a this that is a bridge a too, too far, far for rags listen how i wipe the positions in which i wipe my technique uh 
that that's a that's a very personal thing. Mm-hmm. That's between me and m- literally me. All right. In your toilet, right? Um, I mean, I guess. But at that point, it'd be like in the shower curtain. What? Your toilet doesn't yeah. talk. Your toilet isn't sentient. No. It's not. Your toilet doesn't go, hey, Rags, how you doing today? Oh, no. uh, number two, I see. Uh, well, yum, yum, my love. Ooh, yum. Of course, as you do. Oh, you've been no eating no a lot toilet. of meat. I needed more there's salad. There's no sentient diet. toilet who was upset about eating poop. Um, yeah, that's the like, whole thing. Let's see. I mean, the horror version is they all despise it, and it's terrible and awful, and they hate it. And if they all could, they'd want to die. But I like that version far better. Um, Where they're happily eating poop? Yeah. Yeah. Like these, no, these, at that yeah. point, they'd love to these go to the poop over. dimension in Hogwarts. Chipper Peppy porcelain pals of ours. Um, if they still make them out of porcelain, or now if it's some sort of a like a like a, like an artificial thing, but um, but I think it'd be what if your your toilet paper rolls were the only sentient things in there, and every time you went to the bathroom, they're like, oh god, no, it's one more, you know, one more bit of progress until I've been. You'll know, finally desiccated to the to the tube, and I'll be thrown away and discarded. They live Torn in to fear pieces and, and rubbed against shit. That's a uh, nice, a nice fate. It's not a not a way to go. Not a way to go. It's like, oh, it reminds. Aren't you, uh, man? Imagine if hair had like nerve endings in it. Holy fucking hell! That'd be uh, <laughs> more preferable. <laughs> You would never. That, oh uh, man. Well, Pim from uh, Smiling Friends, his uh, his little hair is an exposed nerve ending. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then there was uh, that bit when um oh it was yeah it was Mr. Frog. He he yanked on it. Um, and that was not very pleasant for Pim. Oh. Season two, please. Yeah. Well, hey, they're, I'm sure they're working on it. Hey, Rick and Morty took their time and they came became shit. So clearly, it's not a time um, thing. It's just to give me it. Uh, yeah, sure, but I mean, you know, like, you, you can't rush art. Can't you? Uh, oh, I thought you'd just appreciate the little Toy Story 2 reference there. Why can't I do both? I, you didn't do the first one. What do you mean? You didn't appreciate the Toy Story 2 reference, you just sort of kept going, like, as if it was... I was, I was with you, I was in the vibe, me. you've ruined it now. No, well, except that's not what the fat guy, the chicken soup man, said. You don't have to appreciate reference by carrying on the scene. Okay. We rarely Th- do that. That's true. That's true. I just didn't get that impression, but that's okay. You got some I bad interpretations you... today. And no disagreement. All right. Mola, you okay? You hit your head pretty bad there. What's that? The Last of Us Part 2? Star Wars sequel trilogy? Frictional bad games? MCU Phase 4? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, we're late for Avengers. The world that could have been. The world that was. <laughs> At one point. It well, was I guess, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Point, yeah. I mean, like, you know, what it is now and what it could have been now. and What could have been. Jeez. Ain't that wild? John Wick 10, someone shot his toaster, tagline, they're gonna be toast. Yeah, I why not? Sucked it out. <laughs> you got me with that one. I mean, like, oh it's, it's possible that John Wick as a series just kept going and going, and they were all good to okay, and we'd be mm. like, oh, sweet, a new John Wick, and we'd watch it and have some fun, and then we'd go on with our lives. I mean, like, we good. have like the model for this, it's called Mission Impossible. It's they're going true. on forever and ever, and we like them. Yeah. <laughs> they're good action films. So weird. Like, even Extraction, right? The sequel's coming out, and it's like, oh yeah, the Extraction first one. Extraction was actually That's, pretty good, yeah. That was way better than John Wick, so... Yeah. Oh. Extraction was actually, yes, way better than John Wick. They had a really impressive one-shot. Uh, there was some really decent action in there. A little bit of character stuff, which is okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it was it was an alright movie. That was a solid 6 out of 10. Bringy, what do you think of Fox in Space? Uh, well, episode two, he just released it, like, a couple of weeks ago, and it was, um, very impressive. Um, yeah, like, that's a real, that's a really impressive fan project. I thought we were talking about Dr. Seuss, and you were gonna say Fox and Socks. No, 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 the, the Fox in Space, it's a Star Fox, like, fan yeah, animation, yeah. Um, and it's like, yeah, it's, uh, Super duper impressive, especially considering that it's broadly like a one man show. 
Um, Rags Riley is back, and uh, she did some things in football, apparently. That's what I heard. I and heard, Mola... Uh, I, heard, I heard she's quite the, uh, quite the athlete. And Mola, you're a really nice guy. That's the message they had for me. Oh, hey, that's great. When are you going to tell us? Uh, I was going to give it a secret, <laughs> but they kind of ruined it now. All right. He gets We're a new dog now that I know. You know every movie, and they get shot. He gets pissed and repeats the rampage. Yeah, why not? I think even they knew like they couldn't do that. Pet smart or something. Wait, is, a... it Pet Sm is it Pet Smart or Pet Smart? Uh, I have no idea. That's I don't think we have that here. Yeah, I don't think okay. we have that either. Fair enough. Up to you, American I man. I remember that they no, used to have like pet stores and shopping centers, but fortunately, you don't see a lot of those anymore. You, but you say it's fortunately we don't see enough shopping centers? Uh, I don't like the idea of walking past like a, a shop that's just like a clothes store like size, but they got like dogs in these tiny little cages. Yeah, I really don't like that. Wait, what does that have to do with shopping centers? Wait, maybe I'm... Uh, I remember like when I was a kid, you would see like uh, like pet stores in shopping centers, like, you, you know, oh. your mall, right? Oh, that sounds those strange ones. because I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Like a little Well, one. like I said, I don't think I've seen one for like a long time at this point, but I definitely recall those being a thing. The pet stores um, I've seen have been like dedicated pet stores. Oh no, this is like this would be like a dedicated pet store in a shopping center. Oh, okay. But, but it's like a uh, you know how like I'm not even because at this point I'm wondering if it's just, just like a difference in terminology. Um, a shopping center is like a mall. That's what you guys would call a mall. Yeah, yeah, I know what a, yeah, I know what that is. Yeah, and so like but in I've never the mall, seen like you know, a pet store like smaller, in one. Well, like I said, I I recalled seeing them in the past, but I don't think I've seen one like in in years and years and years. Fortunately, I think because like, in our area we had we had two dedicated like pet stores, and they were pretty big. They were like grocery store size. They were they were pretty oh, big. okay, right. So that's, um, yeah, that's one was like a PetSmart. The other was a Petco. Right. Mm -hmm. Petco, where the pets go, or the, most like mostly, it's where they can't leave. They're not allowed to leave. John Wick so series purchased. keeps getting better and better. J.K. Law, April Fools. Oof. Ooh. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one says, "Don't this... let him catch you saying that." Oh boy. This sounds more contrived than the Bible. Hey, careful. That's a spicy say... meatball right there. Yeah. That's a very spicy meatball. I like it. I do like spicy food. Uh, this Deep movie is schlocky and dumb fun. I dig the fight choreography and action, but the writing is nuts. I like it, but no, it's not some masterpiece. Okay. Oh, it's far from a masterpiece. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. I think it does all of the things that we usually criticize, but it gets away because of the style. Like, it looks real cool. And it is cool, right? Because of guns and Very cool. assassins and actors you like. John Wick, yeah. Hey, y'all. Did you see says, yeah. Garand's Thumbs April Fool's Mando Disruptor rifle video? With a watch, gun tube rags, gun tube jangles keys. I know, I, know who, I know who Grand Thumb is. I've watched some of his videos. He's done one on the Halo assault rifle. He got. He had one. I. I need to. Watch, I've only seen the thumbnail. I don't know what it's actually based off of, but uh, that was really neat. So he's clued in to the, uh, to the gaming culture. He seems like a cool guy. Yeah. Um. But I have not seen that one. Uh, evening schlimps. John Wick Five or Nobody Two. Choose Nobody Two. Nobody Two. I haven't even I haven't seen, seen Nobody. nobody but I, I, <laughs> I haven't even seen, seen it. it. I haven't even seen Nobody 2, but I've seen a scene on YouTube, uh, like on the bus, and I'm like, oh, yeah. John, Wick, John Wick's had enough chances. Like, I'm, yes. I'm done. I'm tired. We'll give it to something else. Let them have a try. Not to be confused with Mr. Nobody, just so we're clear. Yes. Very different. I'm dumbfounded that D&D &D movie... Oh, that D&D &D movie was great. See, I need... We gotta great. see this thing. We gotta... I've heard everything from meh to good, and now I'm hearing a great. Yeah. Wow. Because the trailer looked like the most dumb, worthless shit I've ever seen. So I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, that's one of the things I've been hearing is the marketing is awful for this film. And they specifically mean like it presents a movie that is not the movie. Do you think that that's a matter of them presenting a movie that they think will be more broadly appealing, but then you actually show yes. up and it's kind of like a faithful Dungeons Probably. and Dragons kind of film? 
Or it's just like a shitty trailer maker, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Cause... Like, well, yeah, I mean, that happens for sure. Because, um, yeah, the trailer looks like, um, I don't know, it just kind of looks like a Marvel formula type thing. But maybe it's maybe it's not. Maybe it is, like, pretty cool. Uh, Fringy has it. John Wick 2, 3, and 4 are fantasy. He died in one, and his soul is descending back into the damned underworld. Sharon, gold coins, et al., the manager may even be Hades. Everyone in the later movies are damned waiting. So I'm pretty sure that uh I'm pretty sure that I saw that and we talked about that briefly during the actual stream, but like I'd consider that to just be essentially making up like a different story. It's just um, hypercope, right? <laughs> like because otherwise yeah, like nothing makes sense. And there's all like surface level sensicalness then and, and no like overt reference to any of this. No, this this. And then, what like... does it mean for him to die? Was this was this purgatory or something full time? And now he's actually dead. Yeah, see, I'm I'm not satisfied with that uh, as a explanation. You I don't know? see why that would be given any more weight than uh, and he hit his it's head. It was all a dream. It's the Matrix. Neo's back in the Matrix, and John Wick is that. I've seen and the that more theory. That he fight people, the more that the Matrix is deteriorating and making less and less sense. Oh, I've seen it say that like this is the training program that he'll go through in the Matrix. This, but we're seeing it in like slow motion. Yeah, like. I prefer to sort of take film at its face first. Well, it's just funny, right? Because it's like, you wouldn't have to run this out if nothing was, if it was all, like, sensical. You didn't, you didn't have to do this yeah. until it was all nonsense. Mm -hmm. uh, love you all, Fringoid, Mootle, Stupid Sexy Muller and his longness, also high ranks. Hello. Hey. Sorry, because it's still on my mind. I'm just thinking about it. It's like, hey, there's gold coins. Like, like there was in the first one when apparently he wasn't dead. And it's like, what about Sharon though? And it's like, it's a name. One name. I don't think they should do more yeah, than that. Not, not very, <laughs> not, not good. Especially when it's much more plausible to present the interpretation that it's just bad writing. And also, I Winston mean, being is... Hades. What is that? Like, what? What's interesting about that? It's not like you but get what... to the end of a certain film that we've seen that takes place in purgatory and you're like oh oh okay at the end i know what you're talking this about this is just like a, oh what mm. yeah, what uh, i just got here from watching efap episode one to here it took okay. three years enjoyed every minute keep it up damn oh wow that is legitimately impressive a three-year journey oh there's a follow-up as well journey. to the whole theory some mortals, heroes, oh, okay. and demigods in Greek myth were said to have descended to the underworld and returned from it as living beings. This journey is known as catabasis, and those who undergo it acquire partial or full immortality. Okay. Um, there is might... an interesting story that could be told about, especially if you do like a semi-time travel thing, where a Greek character or a modern character has to undergo like some kind of a, like an afterlife trial from a particular mythology or something. And you know, that could be kind of neat, but that's not this movie at all. So oh. no, not this movie at all. Um, it ends with movie down. implies, and I assume there's going to be more to this message, but I can't see any in the next few. So we'll have to wait on that one. But um, yeah, there's the thing at this point, I'm just like, you're doing a lot of work to make the movie a lot more interesting than it actually is. None of this shit is in there. I'm sorry. Um, I still think that half of episode 3 was dumb, but I appreciate more appreciating The Last of Us. Okay. I didn't know if they were talking about Mando there or not. Because maybe the... Uh, maybe they, w w the half of episode 3 they probably don't like then is probably the Frank and Bill stuff in Last of Us. Maybe. Not an tell. uncommon take. Uh, the movie Nobody starring Bob Odenkirk is better than all of the John Wick sequels. I might personally like it more than John Wick 1. Um, I haven't seen that movie. I guess I might have to see it here. I would have to rewatch to decide, but I really like John Wick 1. I actually did rewatch a bit of Likewise. it recently. Like, ugh, things were better. Wick was the fourth horseman, a.k.a. Death. Okay. <laughs> I don't really? know if that's... Uh... Is that, is that something to do with the film's narrative, or is it just some fun thing? I don't, I don't know. 
If the focus of a movie is its action as a spectacle, should it get weighed differently compared to more traditional films when it comes to reviews? Can the value of action take priority over the quality of storytelling? Um, I don't know why this wouldn't apply to lots of things. Like, shouldn't it apply oh, to Star Wars given... then? Yeah. Or like any given category, right? If you just pick and choose which ones yeah, you want to value more than others. We keep saying this. It's so weird. It reminds me of the King of the Monsters discourse. It's like, come on, John Wick is an action movie. It's like, it's 95% people talking. Maybe 90% if I'm being Maybe not that much, but there's plenty of just not action. Um, and I don't know why we treat it like it can't be a good story and have good action. Like, those films exist. There's a lot of them. Well, and I guess all it doesn't actually even if it was like ten percent people talking, it's like that's got to account. You have to account that, right? Like that. What? How good was it? How good was the people talking part? Mm -hmm. And it's been Especially really bad. Especially in the case of a film like John Wick, where the action really doesn't build character much at all. And then I'm not even sure what that means, right? The focus is the action. It's like I think uh... it's what people are there for, but the focus of the story would that not relate to whatever takes the lion's share of the time code, which is absolutely it's definitely the so. talking. And I mean, people can have different focuses when it comes to how they consume any given work, you know? Like, for somebody, the focus might be action, but for somebody else, the focus might be, like, some other aspect of the film. Well, some people like, may have been uh, invested in his character. Or cinematography. Well, mm. yeah. But I mean, at this point, it's it's got to be really hard to, to be invested in that character. Mm-hmm. Hey Massives, how are your fitness goals coming? I spent some time as a personal trainer after the Marines and wanted to extend my services for free as a way to say thanks and to help you smash goals. Um, I'm in decent shape, I think. Um, I, uh, I'm not as in good a shape during the winter because, you know, it's cold and everything outside and I don't feel as motivated to go outside because of that. But now that it's starting to get warm... Like the other day, it was like 80 something outside. It was overcast with a light breeze. Like, oh, perfect. And I, I went around and just like walked around the neighborhood for like two hours, just up and down hills and everything and sweating. And it's just, it's good to have like, you know, springtime kind of, you know, be right here upon us. And, and that's when I typically you know, kind of get back into it. But I appreciate it. But I, I eat well. I, I, I stay in shape a decent amount. I look pretty good. Um, I, I, I think I'm I'm pretty good, but uh, I do appreciate the offer. It is important that people stay in shape. It is really important. Real. As you get older, you suddenly are like, yeah, oh, shit, I, I really should stay in shape, you know? I can't run as fast anymore. I can't jump as high, because we often are jumping in life, you know? Right? Uh, yes, we're jumping all the time. I have a fucking dedicated... Uh, the biggest button on my goddamn keyboard is dedicated to jumping, because it's <laughs> the thing I do all the time. It's <laughs> <laughs> so funny, isn't it? Um, but yeah, uh, appreciate the offer. Uh, Brian, I would just do the usual. Keep an eye on them. Uh, diets and exercise. Brian, yes. Take it seriously. In regards to the Mario movie, imagine a Smash Brothers cinematic universe. Not gonna lie, has potential to be great. High rags and praise the dawn. Hello. It has the potential, yes. Mm. Will it be? Who knows? Well, I mean, if will it will ever happen. happen. Yeah. Let's use this digital clock we have to synchronize the hourglass to time the hour. The hourglass thing was so dumb. <laughs> it's archaic, so it's cool. Yeah, and then we have another one. I still want to know whether or not that was the same one. <laughs> There's no way. Right? There's no way. It has to... to be a different one. Because they could have done something where, like, at the HQ, there's the official hourglass, and once they turn it, he hits, like, his watch or something, or starts a timer. He, it could be a pocket watch, if you want to keep it old-timey. Yeah. They, they could have done that. They if done that. you didn't like it, pretend it's what you wanted, then see if you like it. I rags. Hello. The greatest argument, of course. That was oh, said. Oh. That was a real thing that got said. Yeah. Just saw John Wick 4 in the cinema. I think the action scenes were very creative, and overall visual aspect was top-notch. Too bad it had the vibranium suits. A lot more bad about it than just that. Yeah. There is a world where those kind of can work or whatever, but I just, I never would have put them in. Never. During the Super Bowl of 2012, my father was working security at the hotel... Uh, that the players were staying at. One person asked him to help his friends get in 
as they had the proper passes. This is one of two. I'm trying to find the other. Um, this happens a few times, and after they had all left, some friends of my father asked him if the man was nice and what was he like. Confused, my father asks who the man was. It was Steven Spielberg. Oh, yeah, oh. a lot of the times at, uh, like, hotels and, uh, and things of that nature, when famous people are traveling, they use pseudonyms when they, like, check into hotels and stuff. So sometimes people might only recognize by a face or, you know, someone else telling them. And hotels in particular, word gets around because, like, the, the valet or the concierge or something like that, they tell someone else and they tell someone else and things like that. Hmm. People just discover... Uh, Molly, you don't have to answer this again, but I'd like to know how the rest of the EFAP cast would describe the concept of EFAP to someone from the 14th century. Also, high rags, and high rags again. To the 14th century. So, we're transport, or someone from the uh, 1300s is here, and we have to talk about what EFAP does. We'll say that we are a group of uh, art, you know, we're a group of art appreciators, essentially, and we're Oh, no, we want to use it. Uh, we, we'd probably explain that, you know, in the future, you know, we, we're, we still tell stories. We still, you know, we still have a whole bunch of stories and characters just like you do. We have, you know, myths and legends like, you know, Arthur and things of that nature. And we want to preserve these stories and we want these stories to have a lasting impact, you know, on our people. So we um, talk about how good the stories are, how they could be improved, what the stories mean, what we should take away from them, because we kind of want to upkeep the quality of our, you know, uh, you know of our, our, our myths and our legends and the stories we tell to each other. Um, I might go for a simpler one. Uh, basically, we well, like... Franny thinks they're stupid. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to... I, I think I'll just say, <laughs> wow. like... We uh we we talk about uh we talk about art and we uh do so and about uh this through means that uh are just sort of beyond your understanding at this point in time, like in terms of the technology. Um, yeah, that'll be simpler to tell them. <laughs> that's, that'll oh, be simpler. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you should be sorry. That's why I said sorry. Oh, and I agree Don't with apologize you. Apologize to us. Apologize yeah. to the apologize to the fourteenth century folk you just insulted. Century people. Uh, so you like the Last of Us show, but not John Wick? Yeah. 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 Because the Last of Us show is good, and good. John Wick isn't. There's eleven yeah. hours of argumentation for why the Last of Us is not shit. And then there's I don't even know why hours. somebody would even say that. Like, even if you like John Wick, like, surely well, you would agree that the story is a lot thinner. I can tell you why, Free, because culturally it's not popular to like the Last of Us, but it was popular to like John Wick, and so it's a confusing okay. thing. Even All though right. we go well, through well, in detail well, just, why we feel this way about me, these let things. Let me go back to my little cave where it's nice and. Cozy. Uh, you should dislike The Last of Us, and you shouldn't like, uh, shouldn't dislike John Wick. So what's going on? Like, oh, I don't know. Because okay. the John Wick storyline is absolute piss, and it's like, yeah, but it's an action movie. It's like, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> so is Die Hard. So is Predator. So is Terminator. Aliens. Aliens. Fucking amazing Those script, and they're action piss. movies. Well, and yeah. also, Ant Man is an action film. Like, are we going to use the same arguments for that? Yeah, I guess Ant Man's good now. Well, it's like, oh, well, the action's better in John Wick. That Marvel is, is it because everybody already agrees that Marvel's shit, so... That's another, yeah, another take you're supposed to have, so... Sometimes yeah. we line up, sometimes we don't, and every time we look at the media for what it is. Go through it. Mm -hmm. it but yes, uh, we can be quite scary sometimes. It's like, what the fuck? They thought that? I'm like, yeah, we did. Yeah. There's even a Mandalorian episode we thought was half okay. <laughs> like, can you believe it? Yeah, uh, that was pretty wild. Uh, hello lads, big fan of your content, but wondering if your take on Mando Episode 3 still... Oh, sorry. But wondering if your take on Mando Episode 3 still held up. I'm not sure what they're episode asking. Episode 3? If the uh, I don't see why up. it wouldn't have held... Like, any... There, there may or may not be expectations that we had for, like, the future in terms of where that story leads that will be paid off, but, like, it remains, like, a pretty solid little story, regardless of where it leads, you know? They go on to say, Love the content, I just can't fit my main issues in a super chat, but there's too many things wrong with the episode for me to call it good. 
So um, I feel like we highlighted all of our issues with it as we went through. There were, it's not like there was none. We said like they shouldn't not be able to not. do what they did on the train. They yeah, um, we had some that uh, the she should not be able to get away with what she did in the operation. No, it's annoying no. that the machine even has the potential to do that without severe authorization. Like a lot of checks and balances should be able to happen before you can just fucking torture somebody when it's not meant for that at that point, according to them. I've heard the criticism that, oh, so the Republic is just the Empire now. And it's like, oh, well, they were explicit. The machine is meant to calm you, and it shows Pershing being happy when they started up. He's smiling. And then she cranks it, and it damages him. So they, they say it's a repurposed mind flare. Like, that's it's similar technology, but it's not the same. Um, and it's meant to just calm you down, which, you know, they believe he is currently trying to defect to the Empire and sabotage the Republic. Uh, after being given amnesty. So there's going to be punishments involved there. You may want to have a discussion as to whether or not he should be allowed a court case, like, to be able to explain his story, but I don't know the the state of, like, the government right now, or the regulations or rules and everything. Probation, all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of any other flaws. Um, I, I heard people saying it's fucking dumb that they give them, like, numbers instead of names. And I think we highlighted, like, yeah, I get it. You're trying to protect their identities so that they can't be recognized and hunted down for past crime. Yeah, but at but the same time, you could have given them just names. Give them fake names. Yeah, yeah, give them fake names, not numbers. That's kind I of think, dehumanizing. Well, so someone would tell you that's the point. It's supposed to be showing how even the Republic are making mistakes and they're making these people blah blah. And it's just like, yeah, but that that one I think is a bit too overt. I, I don't think you yeah. needed to do that. So yeah, mm -hmm. um, we don't think it's great. We we just no. Uh, we even said that it was. We I don't think we said it was great. Well, I think uh, when Rag said diet Andor, I think the implication is that it's not as good as Andor, but it's on a similar track. Yep. Yeah. Um. It's very Andor esque. It's very clear. Like if this, if someone, it, it's literally like someone saw Andor, really liked it, and this was their first attempt at like recreating it, and they had a decent amount of talent. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I laud the attempt that was made. And we've talked before, but uh, our sort of standard idea for the sequel trilogy was going to be that there was a Republic that's established and relatively strong, but has flaws. Like, that's going to be the way you want to do it, right? And that there's going to be uh, parallels to some of the bigger, horrible things that the Empire had done in the fact that they're trying to crush the Empire. Like, that seems like a cool idea to me. The idea that the, the Republic was going to be perfect, you know, that sounds boring to me. Um, mm hmm and not realistic yeah. at all. Like, what government is perfect? Come on. Bringy is your goo hydrophobic. Hydrophobic. What does that mean? You don't know what hydrophobic means? I figure that. Nope. You no, know, you can't. What, afraid you know? of water. <laughs> well, sort of. That, yeah, I mean, that, literally, yes. Water? But if if you extrapolate that to like what. That might imply to like an object. What what would that mean if like an object was quote unquote afraid of water? I, d I don't know what it means for an object to be afraid of something. It, essentially, if, if uh, something is hydrophobic, it repels water. Like water doesn't oh. soak into it. Water kind of just runs off of it. I'm not going to tell you that. All right. <laughs> also, hi, Mr. Rags. Hi. Hi, Rags. Hello. Did you manage to avoid any damages from the tornado that hit? I was on the roof of UAMS at the time, and it was wild. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, it, around here it was okay. Uh, wasn't any issues, like, in my immediate area. I know very shortly north of me, like, a, like a one, two-minute drive northward, like, a crap ton of people lost their power. I think there was, I think there was a touchdown tornado there, um, but around here it was A-OK. -okay. Um, I think, like, overall, I think only, like, three people died, so it could have been worse, but a lot of people lost their power, some people lost their houses, but, you know, such is, uh, yeah, Tornado Alley. Yeah. But, yeah, the thing. Also, first super chat, so just wanted to say, keep it up, guys, y'all get me through my work days. I'm glad to hear it. Very glad to hear that. I've been formulating this in my head. John Wick 4's story and character beats invalidate the previous iteration, and a brief recap could bridge two to four. Fun. Um. Yes. You. We three. didn't really achieve anything in three. It's pretty redundant. 
Yeah, two, you'd be like, some guy says, John, you gotta do all this shit for me, then betrays you him, John kills him, when he yeah. isn't allowed, and then he's excommunicado and the table want him dead until he cha challenges the Marquis to a duel, and then that's... Yeah, you can sum up three and four so quickly. Yeah. Two is essential, though, to the destruction. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you need two. Without two, you don't have three or four. But, like, three, you can skip. Like, three is just, like, treading water. It really doesn't have much bearing on anything other than the Continental, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. Lord Longbong of Mewbslington Abbey. Is there any good chance of a doki fap when there's less going on? Ah, let's be honest, there's always too much going on. That's not true. Remember, we, true. we did get around to Hardcore Henry. We said we would, and then That's we did. That's right, we did. And, uh, and we I don't do know, we're eyeing up that Long Kong. the ones you want us to. <laughs> I'd, I'd say, yeah, we do. <laughs> we do all... watch movies. I like movies. And, you know, that that Kong looking long and, and, and interesting, you know? And, and I, when and there's less going on, you know? Less going on. But... Play DDLC anyways, Dumbos. Mm, perhaps. Perhaps one day. Who knows? If the guy had a wife who he needed the money to save via medical bills, that might resonate with John. Yes, yes, yes. Instead of, he wants a house. He wants a house. Mm. Oh well. <laughs> Muller's mic oh, has been well. deconsecrated. <laughs> this is when it was like, fucking up or whatever. Yeah, it was a bit floopy. When the Osaka guys were arming up and someone grabbed throwing stars, I about lost it in the theater. Don't hire mole ninjas to protect your hotel. <laughs> I don't know why they don't just have guns. All of them know how to use guns, but they all pick bows and arrows and throwing stars. It's like, okay. I guess it's cool. Throwing stars are really cool, yeah. I was giving the movie the benefit of the doubt until only two archers loosed arrows. Yeah. I don't know why that happens. I don't get it. They clearly showed like a dozen archers at least all there with their bows ready. Because that's what you do with bows. You just continuously hold them back at the draw. Um, but geez, they, they only, what, why, why are you here then? Mm -hmm. Howdy y'all. Been listening to y'all for a few months and can honestly say that EFAP has been an inspiration to me. Your defense of objectivity as it applies to film is a cause I wholeheartedly support. God bless all y'all. Oh. Oh, okay. thank you. I'm very glad that you enjoy uh, what we do. We give it our best shot. Yep. I'm back. It's better than John Wick 4, and pretty fun, honestly. Oh, this is the guy who went to go see Dungeons & Dragons. So, better than John Wick 4, pretty fun. You. Not great, but it's worth checking out. Chris Pine was pretty good. He's pretty good. Like He's a reliable yeah, He's, he's, um, reliable he's a... He's a charming leading man. He usually gives out charisma for free. He's just like, here you go. Here's yeah. Some charisma. Well, I mean, he, oh, he bestowed Wonder Woman with so much charisma that people thought it was like the whole film. <laughs> people thought it was good. <laughs> like, ooh. Yeah. There you go. John Wick is a training program within the Matrix, but they put a capper on it, okay? So. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> the nunchucks made me think back to the revolver he crafted to shoot once and then drop. The revolver he crafted to shoot once and then drops. Is there a revolver he shoots uh, once and sorry. drops? Um, Say that one more time. The nunchucks. The nunchucks made me think were... back to the revolver he crafted to shoot once and then drops. I do not. Was that something in John Wick three? I was about to say I it's, it's got to be in two or three, but I don't. Been... And a revolver he. Crafts. I don't. Re I don't remember that in two. I don't remember that. Might be three then, yeah. I, I don't remember. Because yeah. um, the thing with me and John Wick 3 was that uh, 2 pissed me off because it changed everything, and then 3 was like part of the course at that point. It, well, not part of the course, part of the right. John Wick 2 course. So I, it, like, it didn't yeah, inflict yeah. as much pain on me. I was just like, yep, this is John Wick now. Um, I don't know if this makes sense, but in my opinion, the first one felt like a video game movie in a good way. The next three felt like a video game movie in a bad way. Hmm. Um, I don't know if I like, uh, like that as a description for films like this, if you get what I mean. I, I would say the first John Wick does not feel like a video game, but the others do, but in a bad way. In a bad way would be a good way of putting it. The only thing I would concede to them is that John Wick 1 would actually be a film I'd suggest when people say, what film would you think would make a good video game? It's like, John Wick 1 might. I could yeah, well, make, I mean, it like, uh, make it like a Max Payne 3. 
Mm. Or, yeah, or Max Payne. Yeah, do I mean, that. Max Rockstar. Oh, Fuck well, Grand Theft Auto, you bastards. I a... don't know. I don't know if they're going to make another Max Payne game. Uh, yeah, I know. I they know. probably won't which is, because Grand Theft Auto is... Which is a shame because, like, yeah. Grand Theft Auto... Uh, Max Payne 3 is, like, a really solid third-person shooter. Like I that, recommend that game is Max tight. Payne 3. That game is really mechanically tight. It is uh, very fun. Great little story and narration. Cool yeah, stylistic oh, yeah, choices. Yeah, like the narration. <laughs> There's so many great lines of dialogue that it's just like, dude, like that's so, it's so snarky and cynical. I love it. Yeah, super good uh, variety in terms of locations. Very much a, a, a good shooting game. That's just, it's a fun game, guys. Max Payne 3, highly recommend. I had decent multiplayer as well, but it died really quickly and they put a lot of work into it. Like that, that game had like some interesting... Like they baked, um, they baked bullet time into the multiplayer, like through some crazy technical trickery. They made it so that uh, bullet time could like occur across online matches. I believe that the way that worked was line of sight. Uh, if you were in the line of sight of somebody using bullet time, then you would slow down. But if you weren't, everything would run like normal. Uh, and so that's how they were able to incorporate bullet oh, time I... in, in local encounters. So it wasn't I like the uh... whole game. I think that the way that you could also do bullet time is um, the per the person who's being bullet timed, uh, like it, like their their sensitivity was super super low. Uh, I believe theirs was slower. If you were using bullet time, you had the advantage. Okay. Um, that's but only slightly. Advantage. Well, it's just I mean, Max has like he's moving faster than everybody else in bullet time, but it, it still feels like slow motion, even though he's moving faster than everybody. Mm -hmm. It's uh. It, that that game, and I remember they had like uh, they had a a mode that was like it progressed over several rounds and dynamically changed and had like a a sort of like in game narrative that was occurring between the factions based on like who won or lost in the previous round. It's like a lot of efforts to actually kind of like weave uh, what Max Payne was as a single player game into multiplayer, but yeah, it didn't really. Not many people That'll played it, which is a shame. That. With uh, like operations. Uh, oh, operations! Yeah, that was kind of like there. Well, Timefall, yeah, Timefall kind of tried to do that, the original one. Um, but I mean, that was pretty feeble because it didn't matter who won or lost; like the outcome was always the same. Alrighty. Uh, yep, that's the end of that one. <laughs> God, no! There can't be an amalgamated creature with the features of both a frog and a bird. Mola, hee hee, fringy. No. Well, I don't know if I'd say no. I guess that's kind of a fascinating uh thing to imagine. A frog bird. Yeah, like a creature that you look at and you're like, is that a Does frog that have a or frog a bird? face with wings, you know, or is it a a bird that is shaped like a frog? I guess we'll never find out, because this is just too mythical to, to mm -hmm. be real. In honor of my birthday, here's my first ever super chat. What wisdom do you oh. massives have for making a video critique or videos in general? Well, first off, happy birthday. Yay. Secondly, mm -hmm. please, dear God, pick a topic that you care about. Yeah. That you actually have a passion for, that you yeah. have an interest in. Don't feel, don't ever feel like you're going to lock yourself into making videos on shit you just don't care about. Um, you gotta make videos on stuff that you, you really legitimately do care about and have an interest and a passion for. Um, because it's not always going to be a fun process. Uh, video editing can be tedious. Uh, it could be super fun, and when the creative juices flow, like, there are times when I'm just talking to myself out loud, just sort of trying to nail lines or just get my thoughts out there and everything. But, man, yeah, but if you're not passionate about it, then it just becomes like a slog and a job, and, you know, no one wants that. Um, I mean, I go for the classic, you know, treat it as though you're, uh, having an idea storm with your previous self by editing it or, or re-editing it or redrafting. I mean, you know, like, uh, you, you do the thing and then you have a look over it and you're like, it's almost like a different you arguing to you and see what you think and then see what you think of like what people might take issue with in terms of, uh, if it is a critical breakdown, you know, um, I just always I found think... it invaluable. Oh, sorry. Puzzle. I, I agree with that. Um, if I'm going to pick one that's different from those ones, I'd say that a generally good idea when it comes to video making is in some sense to kind of treat it like a narrative. Not a narrative in the sense that it's like a fictional story, but that you're progressing towards something. 
I think that if uh, I think that a, a critique that's br- bound by like some kind of broader point can be like really good in terms of focusing a script. Like if if you were to imagine, I guess making like a big critique of just I don't know, like a uh, like a film. Um, I think like having a broad sort of point that you want to hone in on as like part of that critique can be super helpful. Um, and, and, and then treat it like a sort of like, what is a good way of progressing through these, uh, these plot points? Do I want to do it chronologically or do I want to go topic by topic? Which one do I think best services are essentially the, um, the story that I'm kind of presenting to the viewer through this analysis? So yeah, that's, that's a suggestion. Um, also, seeing the trailers for Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and Spider-Verse, will you guys watch the previous films before watching them and have any discussions on them? Definitely for Guardians. Uh, Spider-Verse. Yeah, Guardians, I'll... I will more than likely see. I don't know if it'll end up getting itself an episode or not. I don't know. Uh, I guess it depends, really. Yeah. We'll have to see. You guys don't understand. If they wrote the movie well, then the story wouldn't work. I love that, that argument. That's bizarre. It, you know, it? Th- that's a caricature of it. The way it'll usually go is like, wait, why didn't they, you know, why is it that blah, blah, blah happens? And then like, well, if they didn't, we wouldn't have a story. Which, by the way, is like one-to-one Patrick Willems. Well, it's just lazy, isn't it? As a Absolutely, yeah. Response. There's always like, solutions there's to find. It's the writing yeah, really. difficulty. That's what given makes that, writing hard. Given that you're, well, given that it's, it's like totally made up and you decide what you're doing with your story... Your options are broad. They're very broad. Problem solving is like all of it. Because you get inspired to have like, I want to have a giant dragon slain by a a big knight who started out as a little kid in a farm. It's like, okay, go. You got to start building that story. You got to start solving problems. What does this build look like? And if we don't recognize that, then there is no difference between a good storyteller or a bad one. Everybody's just as good as each other because it's just the idea. It's the desire and that's it. Which is a school of thought, but it's not one that we find very convincing. It's a lame <laughs> school of thought that often doesn't exist in other disciplines. Um, <laughs> I don't, you know, it's, mm-hmm. yeah, whatever. Where is my Goodell, Blongo? Uh, I mean, I've explained it a couple of times, but I don't mind doing it again. The idea with Goodell when I first made it was to parody video essays as they stood, in the hopes of pointing out how retarded all of it is, and then I realized in five years of making those little videos that it had only gotten worse, uh, the state of media criticism. So uh, that sort of passionate fuel kind of ended. Uh, what else was sort of running it was it was funny uh, to sort of make a compilation of all the craziest quotes we'd heard, but um, I just lost a passion for it. When I made, It was five in a row. It's like, um, if anything, I'd rather make a different kind of satire uh, on April 1st, but this year I didn't really have anything I wanted to do. Um, but who knows, maybe next year I will. Uh, but Gedelb is is probably gonna go away for a little bit. Maybe it'll return someday. That I you know wouldn't be. A, I can't guarantee it'll never come back. It's just that what it was initially created for seems to have uh, faded away. That's all. And I'd rather not make something I'm not passionately invested in making. Uh, kind of comes back to what Rags was saying earlier about advice on creation. Mm-hmm. Oh sweet crispy critters, you lost to a blind man. He wasn't blind. <laughs> he wasn't blind. <laughs> no. Right, let's let's go ahead and let's nip this in the bud right here. Um, was, that man was not blind. I beg of you guys to check out The Man From Nowhere. I'm pretty sure it came out before the first John Wick, and it's such a good Korean movie. Final fight scene is intense. All right, sounds cool. Man From Nowhere. I think I've heard of that. I don't know anything about it, but mm. I think I've heard of it. So I've not. I'm a bit behind, but on the topic of Keanu being a bad actor, in this film, John has 140 confirmed kills. John says only 380 words. Uh, John averages roughly 2.7 words per kill. Someone knows he can't act. I swear, though, he's, I think... he's a better actor in the first film than he is in 2, 3, 4. They've, like, caricatured yeah, yeah. him. He's a better actor. Like, the I'm thinking I'm back scene is all right. In yeah. terms of a performance. That one's okay. I want to uh, say, like, I can't remember much of Cyberpunk, but surely he was better in Cyberpunk, right? Um, I don't remember much of Cyberpunk either, so... I'd have to, yeah, I'd have to relook. You guys are overthinking this. That was a great mercenary scene, just like when Vader slapped Boba around and called him his bitch. 
I don't even know which scene you're talking about. Is it the one where uh, the thing he stabs Mr. Mr. Nobody in the hand? Great mercenary I scene. Guess so. Probably that one. And yeah, it, it's a fucking crazy scene. There's all, they're all crazy scenes in terms of just like, what the fuck's happening? I did think when I was watching it, I was like, maybe they've managed to, you know, fix it up a bit and focus. Because it's been a while since John Wick 3. Oof. No. No, just a mess still. Um, he's in Paris. There are 48 places named Paris in the world, according to Google. Oh, uh, well, I mean, <laughs> there's a Paris, Arkansas. That's not even, like... <laughs> That's not even the problem. Just being like, where is Guy? It's like, it's in country. Movie. Like, okay. Yeah, like, in power. So it'd be like, where's a guy in LA? It's like, oh, thanks for really narrowing it down there. <laughs> I'll just go. It's like, like, like mm, okay. the whole metropolitan from top to bottom. Yeah. I guess it's better than Star Wars where they say a planet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Rags, that's just a town at that point. Uh, watch the well, channel. you know... Think about, like, Coruscant, right? Like, there's levels on Coruscant. It's not just the city that's across the whole planet. It's levels beneath it, too, that we never get to see, unfortunately. Well, occasionally. Occasionally. But seldom. Watch the channel Random Film Talk. He took down Rings of Power. Yeah, definitely. Highly recommend Random Film Talk. His Rings of Power videos are insanely good. Super high recommendation. Random, Random Film Talk film would talk. be a good EFAP guest, too. He would be an incredibly good EFAP guest. He'd fit oh. right in. Maybe it'll happen at some point. Who knows? Um, a coin for the wick meter. Sure. Why not? Thank you. Huh. Funny April Fool's joke, guys. I'm glad you actually enjoyed John Wick 4. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great. I didn't have a purpose, so I started blasting. Yeah, remember that part where he's like, John doesn't have a purpose, so he will lose the duel. He didn't he didn't lose. Really. The Marquis died, so Yeah, he won. Oh, yeah. I think it's just shocking that he got like how does John Wick, the pistol master of the universe, lose to a blind guy? Well, uh, I mean he wasn't blind. <laughs> this I mean, yeah, that's he's true. A super I mean, even man. if he wasn't blind still. Yeah, yeah. How does he lose to anyone? Um, it's Boba Fett all over again. The damn gun is a knife now. Is there a knife gun in Boba Fett? Uh I, I could believe that, but I cannot I cannot recall that. Yeah, okay, we went through that show, guys. We don't have to go through it again, even in memory. No. Don't don't make us do that, please. Uh, it's honestly a real shame that FNT and others are praising these films because they have turned worse than the garbage Star Wars and Marvel stuff. Why can't we have okay action and good story? I don't think John Wick 4 is worse than, like, fucking Quantumania or something. Uh, nah. It's not worse than that. Uh, I don't think. It's, but it, like, uh, it doesn't... The thing about it is it doesn't surprise me at all that people would enjoy John Wick 4. We are not... The normal film goer. However, I, rec I always keep an eye on and recognize what normal film goers will likely uh, feel and think about something. It's like, yeah, the like I know my dad would probably love John Wick Four, and I'd be like, why? And he's like, oh, well, it's fun action, you know, he's running around, boom, boom, it's, it's fun stuff. And then if I went like, who is the marquee? Even after watching that film, he'd be like, I don't know. Like, well, and and you know what we're about here is just fundamental storytelling. We really want to zero in on it. So the idea that bunch of people are enjoying it because it's like action heavy it doesn't surprise me at all though you do wonder sometimes like shouldn't marvel make a pass then and star wars and to be honest with you that's what we would say marvel uh, sorry star wars did with mando season one and two it was the same thing it's like bullshit action and thin storytelling but um you know there are cultural changes and influences and uh discussions happening in meta that'll change people's minds meanwhile we're sort of if you go back and watch our Mando coverage, we're still talking about plot armor, conveniences, holes, and character motivations and stuff. That's, you know. The only people we necessarily line up with at any one time are the people who uh, maybe share the perspective for whatever reason. It could be the same, could not be. Um, as for whether or not it's a shame, I don't know. It's, 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 it's as much of a shame as anything ever is with promoting, like, Storytelling that we think is shite. Um, I don't think there's ever going to be a time where there's, like, you know, no bad storytelling at all. 
It'll always uh, come through, like, when there's superficial stuff. It's like trends and everything. John Wick 4 being successful means that John Wick is like a formula is still far from dead. Which is unfortunate, but hey, what are you going to do? Uh, superheroes, on the other hand, have come close to death. Or at least the death throes? I don't know. Like, some, some, there's some kind of analogy there in terms of what they're up to. You know, people talk about... Are they dying? Are they dead? Are they? Is this the funeral, the autopsy, or they dug up the grave? You know, which which portion are we at? And I think, funnily enough, the main indicator for a lot of people is going to be the box office rather than the actual content. Um, we've been saying they're absolutely dead since uh, what was it Loki that we felt was like the end? That was, it was over at that point. I mean, from the first. Fist, what? I guess I'm I'm just sort of thinking like would there be another point where it would be like dead? Well like know? WandaVision did um, serious damage, Falcon and Soldier did serious damage, but Loki did the kind of damage where we were like, oh shit, is there any coming back now? And all they've done is double down anyway. I think you're right. Yeah, I think Loki was sort of like the first. And you know, there's still countless people who enjoy the fuck out of the newest Marvel thing. Allegedly. <laughs> so uh just it all takes time, and you know, in the meantime, we'll just keep talking about what we think is working and not working. Um, just put a sombrero and a fake mustache on him and make him introduce himself as something like Mi nombre es Jose Maca. Uh, what does this have to do with anything? Is oh, is this when he was suggesting disguises for John? I think because yeah, he could do that. People could consider this ridiculous, but it would work. I guess we don't have to kill hundreds of people. Be better. This was my first John Wick film. Was so confused. The Warriors reference made me want to watch that instead. Did you spot the empty car that hit him? Hi, Mootle. It was an empty car that hit him. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. How would they even... Surely when filming it, there would be a person at the car, right? Or I guess maybe, uh, not. maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. It's one of those automatic car things that they use. Like for the stunt? Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. That's... Yeah. That's awkward. No, I did not spot That's that. That's funny. But, yeah. um, the J tweet of the day is literally just mocking a woman who was assaulted in public. What the fuck, man? Um, your first mistake was going on Twitter. I uh, I do not keep up to date with what everyone's doing on there, but it just seems like a fucking hellhole. I like to post memes. Um, though I did recently do a tweet response to Jenny Nicholson talking about how um, the Holder Maneuver makes sense, actually. Why can't you just leave her alone? What's the funny the thing? That she thinks the whole maneuver makes sense. Okay. Yeah, well, and she gave, I think, four arguments, quote unquote, logically, for oh. why why it makes sense. And they were all things we heard back like fucking four or five years ago. And I was just like, wow, yeah, it's what a throwback. Um, well, you, you, I was going to say, you'd be surprised, but it's like, well, you, you remember these arguments, but it was, it was like, um, it was a real difficult maneuver to pull off. It took a lot of skill. It's like, no? I don't know. Yeah, I don't believe you. Since when has hyperdrive ever been a skill thing? It's always been a computer thing. You tell the computer where you want to go, and then it sorts it out, and then you go. It's, there's no, like... I don't even know what that means. And and even if it was, as she said, it also seems like a huge luck thing. I've always loved the theory that um, she was incredibly unlucky, and she was trying to just escape. Yeah, one in a million. I just don't see how you fuck it up. Just, like, ram it. Yeah, tell the you computer, know, the, aim for the giant ship. And then it goes, yeah, oh yeah, okay. It's like, this, it's like the size of a town. <laughs> that might be an underestimate as well. I don't fucking Dude, know. Dude, even JJ Abrams knew that he couldn't use it. Yeah, he like why? Reason to get rid of it. Even JJ knew that it he made no sense. <laughs> Bridge too far for JJ Abrams. And that's yep. the thing. JJ didn't say like, "Oh, that move takes an intense amount of skill that only Admiral Holder was able to pull." Out. Could you imagine? <laughs> God. They call it the Holder maneuver for a reason. Only she can do it. Ugh. <laughs> it's so funny because even they could have left it out, right? They could have been like, "Oh, we got an army of star destroyers to destroy." It's like, "Okay, let's go, fight time." But they knew they were like, "We should probably address, you know, the, the thing from Everyone the last will movie." Ask. <laughs> like, yeah. Everyone will be asking. Everybody ADR. Will ask, Why don't we do some hold on maneuver? Do some real damage. It was ADR, right? It was uh, Finn's response. You couldn't see him talking. Uh, it showed no, the reactions. No, it was Poe, right? It was Finn. I'm, I'm sure it was Finn. I thought it was. I'm. I'm pretty sure it was Poe. I think that was it was. Uh, I think it was Mary. Um, I think it was who? Mary. Who the fuck is Mary? Well, no, 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 no. It was Mary asked Dominic Monaghan. Yeah. 
Yeah, he asked. Oh, Mary. But it was, uh, but it was, um, it was Poe who replied. Well, so who, who it was either, uh, um, uh, like, I don't remember who, it was just, I just know they say it's one of them. I'm, I, I'm, I need to, I need to know, but I, I, I need, I just, <laughs> well, either way, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's some bullshit is what it is. That's so embarrassing that they had to put that line in, <laughs> like, because of that mistake, because it was so egregious. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what I mean about the whole, like, the idea that you can defend it because it's got in-text reasoning, and then it's like, the following movie didn't use that in-text reasoning. I guess that's not an argument that there isn't any, but a bit curious, isn't it? <laughs> like, that they wouldn't have used the reasoning. Yep. You know, that's fine. Um, cue elevator music. Um, bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. What were we talking about when that would have happened? I don't know. Hard to I don't say. know either. Uh, parents, stop fighting. Fringo is crying. Oh, no. I really don't remember what was Damn it. I can't remember, yeah. So clearly it didn't upset me too much. Mm. Uh... Actually, Muller, it was you Brits that keep changing the language. The differences in English language is this whole operation was your idea meme. Oh, damn. Was it a thing about, like, pronunciations? Probably. We do that a lot. Fuck, what was the word? What was it? Um, Shit. Otis Elevators Company estimates that estimates that 85% of the buildings with their elevators do not have a named 13th floor. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Oh, ground floor versus first floor, right? We had someone in, was it? That was it. A metal stream, It was, think, uh... That said, even Americans will do both as well or something. I don't know, I'm confused at this point. No, we just no. I remember the conversation was. Um, I remember it was. It, we were talking about ground floor versus first floor, and I think Rag said the ground floor is the first floor, and that was where the disagreement began. The confusion began. But, yeah. Airlines also skipped numbering the thirteenth row of their seats. Okay. Oh, I really? didn't know that one, but I guess it follows. Just Super suspicious, all right. Yeah. Insert John Palpatine shooting stars meme. Dun, 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 I remember dun, dun. when that was everywhere. When he's spinning. Gone now. Memes, like they just shit. they come and go, you know? Mm -hmm. Thanks for the public service y'all provide. If it wasn't for you, I legit wouldn't know anything. I wouldn't know about Andor or Mando season three, episode three. Something, something, you just hate things. This channel is great for finding the good stuff. Uh, plane greater than John Wick 4. Plane? Oh, I've heard. Plane's a new film, isn't it? Plane? Is it? E L A N E? Yes. I guess it's about um, like the geometry teacher. I or... think Gary said it was good. I, I haven't seen it though. We'll see. Uh, watch John pull a Kill Bill Volume 2 and climb out of the grave. I don't. Like I said, I think they're just going to fake his death once they decide to bring him back. That's all. He's on some island. Sipping mojitos, as they do. Somehow, John Wick returned. <laughs> yep. Okay, but what if John Wick's actually dead, though? I don't even know. Are you asking, like, if I find it meaningful? Because, I, I mean... What, what, um, what is there to draw if, if in 50 years from now there's no more John Wicks and then Keanu Reeves dies, like, IRL or whatever? It's like, what does that mean for the John Wicks as a story? It's like, I don't know. He stopped at one point. Okay. Not much to draw out of it. I just don't think they'll keep him dead. No um, way. It's too much money to be made. Mm-hmm. Uh, even Keanu's acting goes downhill in the sequels. I agree. Yep. And finally... Lord Longbong of Mubslington Abbey. Is there any good chance of a Kong fap? Of Peter Jackson's Long Kong? When there's less going on, it'll be a movie fab for the ages. Yes, hello, Wagsies. Scritches for the good boy. Hello. You know, I think there's a good chance of a Long Kong eventually. Long Kong is... Maybe Long Kong is... Uh, it's looking less, good. Less going on. It's in... What is that phrase? It's in the cards? It's on the docket. It's in the, the world of the potential. It, uh... 
Okay, there you go, we did it. <laughs> oh wow, it's only an hour too. Short and sweet. Hey. By you, mm -hmm. standards, I'm sure. Um, Not like John Wick 4. No, that kept going. Kept on going. Ugh. But yeah, uh, thank but you all for, for hanging out with us, for sending in those Absolutely. kind messages and donations. We will say goodbye for now. Great deal, thanks. But, uh, you know, we'll see you in whatever the next EFAP adventure may be. Doodles for now, folks. Cheerio. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.